All right, we're going to take the fat moto out today, boys. And clean this room up again. This room gets dirty very, very quickly. <clears throat> Go get some gasoline. Just try to pull in the clutch. Uh. Now I just tried to do the turn signal. Been riding the hawk too much, guys. As you guys have probably uh, figured out, doing something a little bit different. I have my actual motorcycle helmet on, which feels weird on this bike, but uh. Hoping it'll give you better sound quality because I got the mic in here. It should cut out most of the wind. Just an experiment. Uh, if you can't hear the bike very well, obviously I won't do it again. Oh, it's so weird. I keep trying to pull my back brake now, <laughs> which is normally at my foot. You can tell I haven't rode one of these in a while. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just a motorized bike. Um, I have three at my house that I make. This one you actually buy and it pretty much comes like this. But yeah, you can actually just get on Amazon and they have uh, motors and shit that you can just slap right on a regular mountain bike or whatever. Yeah, it's not too bad. This one tops out at like 30 and then that's that's maxed out. But on a bike, <laughs> that ain't bad. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can still pedal if you have to. I think he liked the bike guys.
Oh, super hot. I remember this bike being faster, but I've got the I've got the throttle held in with my finger too, so this is it. I thought maybe my governor bypass was getting loose or something, but it's not. This just slow. Oh, this doesn't feel like 30. I know this bike can do 30. It probably is. I'm just used to riding the Hawk so dang much. See if we can get up this hill without pedaling. Oh boy, just barely. Man, I gotta be honest with you guys. This whole ride, even though it hasn't been boring, I'm not going to go that far, but it really makes me want to get out the motorcycle. <laughs> 
Uh, I think I'm actually going to get out the BT100 after this. Get two videos in one day. Maybe. We still got a bit of a trip right now. I got a long one planned, boys. I got a long one planned. I don't know. With all the editing I've been doing lately, though, it'll probably get cut down in like 10 minutes. Be prepared to stop, Baba da Boopy. There's a flagger ahead, Baba da Beepy. The Baba da Boopy, look at my poopy. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but all construction workers are Italian. And if you're a construction worker and you comment that you're not Italian, you're lying. I know everything, I ride motorized bikes. Crazy. Yeah, the governor is engaging on some of these hills, so I do need to work on that. I've been neglecting my motorized bikes in favor of the Hawk. My bad. Alright, there it just engaged, slowed me down. Oh yeah, I got a lot of throttle. I hope the BT does is good, because I'm actually, I mean, my butt hurts a little bit, but the, the fat motor's been taking the bumps pretty well. I'm going to come in here with the BT and probably be miserable. My goal in the future is to do about a 30 mile trip on this bike which does not sound like a hot does not sound like a lot but i just did a 50 mile trip on the hawk and it was like two hours yeah it was close to two hours so that on the hawk compared to a motorized bike i think 30 is fine Now, granted, I stopped a few places and had to go 15 miles an hour a few times on that trip, but still. This is the part I'm slightly nervous about. I know I've done this before. I don't know. People are crazy. It's my top speed of like 30. I don't really like getting on the main roads anymore, I'll be honest with you. It didn't used to bother me when I first started riding. I don't know, it's just like, I guess you realize how crazy everybody is how easy it is to get hit. 
We're gonna go for it. Another nice thing about having actually a clutch on these motorized bikes is I could have just pulled in the clutch and coasted down most of this, which is a really cool feeling. Whereas this centrifugal clutch pulled you back the whole time you let off the gas. Maybe you can do it. This bike doesn't do bad on the hills. Doesn't do horrible. I mean, it doesn't do great, but it doesn't do horrible either. I did not have to pedal. We slowed down quite a bit, but didn't have to pedal. Uh, this has a 50 tooth in the back. Sprocket. Everybody's saying I should lower it down to a 40 or a 44. I'm thinking about going the opposite direction and putting a 56 back there. Give me plenty of torque on these hills. I think that'd make a big difference. Only you'd ever have to pedal again. I mean, said, if you're a smaller dude, you probably uh, ain't too bad to begin with. five minutes on the video so far I'm really not sure what to edit out guys I struggle so much with editing anymore not because it's hard just because I don't know what to edit out and what to keep in anymore I got people that want to see the entire ride and me just set out stupid stuff like stop signs and then I've got, you know, the people that just want an hour ride to be cut down into 10, 20 minutes, just the key points. And, uh, and I just, I don't know. I'm divided on what to do. We make it. Fuck no. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I might just take the BT to the cemetery. I know that's like my go-to, but I really enjoy riding around. Right there's the cemetery. I really enjoy riding around the cemetery.
I'm waiting on rim tape for that vintage bike I bought and then it'll be ready to go as well. Uh, I have everything I need. Well, the gas tank, I'm not sure how I'm gonna rig that up just yet, but I'll figure something out. I actually kind of had fun on this trip. Holy crap, it made it up that hill. I had a pedal too, obviously, but it made it. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody.